Hey everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adele Peekaboo. Hey everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adele Peekaboo. In today's video, I am actually going to be giving you guys an explanation on where I've been. Three or four months ago now, I started the No More Makeup Challenge, and I have not worn makeup since. Within that three to four months, I learned that I don't need makeup to feel beautiful about myself. I did go a bit extreme for my first YouTube video, and I committed to something that really wasn't truly me. I'm still glad I did it. I do not regret it. I actually learned and grew from it. And I really hope that you guys can learn and grow from that challenge as well. Although, if you cannot walk out of the house without makeup and having your self-confidence drop, definitely stop wearing makeup until you can learn to love yourself enough that you don't rely on makeup. For every makeup tutorial that I do, there will be this disclaimer in it, so if you'd like to skip forward, please feel free to go ahead and do that. This is the makeup tutorial, however I never want anyone to ever feel like you need makeup to feel beautiful. We are all beautiful just the way that God made us and should only use makeup for fun and artistic purposes only. Okay everybody, so this is officially my first makeup tutorial. I already went ahead and I washed my face, cleansed my face, and I also put moisturizer on already. So the next step is putting on some, I like to use Carmex, but you can really use any kind of chapstick that you want. Okay guys, the next step is going to be my foundation in which today I am using all cheaper brands, just an FYI for you guys, because um, being that I threw away all of my makeup. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm using is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation in the shade Porcelain. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Alrighty guys, the next step is going to be concealer, and I am using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear, basically the Tarte Tape Shape um, copycat. Okay guys, and then you take your beauty blender again, and you, I usually take the smaller side and go ahead and blend in all the concealer. Okay guys, so part of the reason I was gone for so long is because I was actually moving and also I really, I didn't want to feel too rushed so I'm just going to be putting up videos as I'm learning for now and then eventually it will be every single week. Alrighty, the other thing that I've actually learned is instead of using like an eye primer, if you have kind of oily lids, is go ahead and take that same concealer that you just used and use that instead of eye primer. It works just as good and you don't have to spend as much money. <laughs> okay guys, and then take a concealer brush, brush, a concealer brush such as this, and go ahead and Put that on the rest of your eyes. Okay guys, so the next step is to take an angled fluffy brush and dip into your contour. Today I am using the Ulta Beauty Big Sculpt and Glow 3-in-1 palette. And I'm just using this contour shade right here. So you're gonna go along the contours of your cheeks and then also like frame your face with it. Baby, remember to we bring me camera. <laughs> Guys, my boyfriend has issues. When you contour your neck, make sure you only go to about right where that shadow, that natural shadow stops right here. Otherwise, you're gonna look like you have a beard. Nobody wants that. <laughs> okay, now the large angled fluffy brush, that's for framing the face and right in the cheekbones. 
And then you're also gonna take your contour palette as well. And let me find the brush. Okay guys, then you're gonna take an angled fluffy brush. This one's not too awfully fluffy, but I did get a pretty big set on Amazon for like $10, so they're nothing huge right now. However, in the near future, I will be upgrading all of my stuff, so don't worry. But right now, grab the most angled fluffy brush you own and dip into that contour so we can contour our nose. And then just kind of go ahead and blend that in. Okay guys, once you've gone ahead and finished that, go ahead and grab a medium sized fluffy brush. And we're gonna go ahead and dip into our blush. Which, once again, I'm using that same palette. Just a little like pinky peach blush shade. Don't grab too much or you're going to look like a clown, <laughs> of course. And just go right above, right above that contour on that cheekbone. doing your blush make sure you don't just go like right here on the apple of your cheek make sure you're actually following that same contour line right above that same contour line you're going like on your cheek okay guys the next step is gonna be our highlighter which is also on the same palette right here. and take like a kind of smaller medium fluffy brush and go ahead and dip into your highlight. Oh my gosh, you guys, this lighting is so bad. <laughs> it's better, but it's still like so bad because you can't see like anything. Promise you though, it's there. Put it in the center of your forehead right here. And then you put it on the cheekbone well right here. Honestly, you guys, this is not like my favorite trio in the world for contour or blush or highlight, but it's what we're working with right now. So. Okay, you guys, because I don't have the cute powder, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of my foundation, and I'm just gonna go like right underneath where the contour is. Oh my gosh, you guys, these clothes are so bad. <laughs> okay, you guys, the next step is gonna be our eyebrows. And today I am using the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. Go ahead and take your eyebrow brush and go ahead and brush your brows up and out. Like right here in this section, you want to kind of like do strokes kind of like hairs. You don't want it to be too thick or you know, look like you have box brows and nobody wants that. And then you're going to go ahead and go along the bottom line. Do it in strokes because if you do it in one long line, you're almost guaranteed to mess up. Then go ahead and take your spoolie brush on the other side of your eyebrow pencil or just any spoolie brush that you have and brush your eyebrows down. This way you don't end up making your eyebrows like too big. That's definitely not what you want. And then go ahead and go backwards this way, keeping the end very thin, accentuating the arch if you have one naturally or if you just want to fill one in, go ahead. And then go back, but don't go back all the way. Go to like right there, about halfway. Then go ahead and brush your eyebrows back up again. And see how that's not like too thick, but it's just about right. 
Then you're gonna go ahead and take your eyebrow pencil again and just go ahead and knot right here where you already did, kind of like hair lines, but like from about like right here and on, go ahead and like fill in your brow a little bit. Be careful not to go outside that line that you created on the top, otherwise your eyebrows are gonna look humongous. As you're doing your eyebrows, kind of brush them around a little bit to make sure you fill them in everywhere you want to fill them in, like brush them down again if you want. That way if your eyebrows move throughout the day, like mine do, <clears throat> you don't um, have that issue. One eyebrow is done. Not everybody gets their eyebrows perfect the first time. I know I sure didn't. It took me quite a while to actually get the hang of. So don't be discouraged if you guys mess up. That is what concealer is made for. All right, guys. Once you guys have done your brows, go ahead and go back in with your concealer and a square brush such as this one. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of go around your eyebrows and just kind of correct anything that you slip on or just want to make it look sharper. It also kind of just highlights and accentuates the brow bone. I'm going to go ahead and blend that downward. Careful not to mess up the nice line that you've just created. Using a square brush just makes it a lot easier to get your brows as precise as possible when correcting them. Makes them just look very sharp and clean. And then go ahead and blend that top portion up. Well, that made a dip in my brow. And if you kind of accidentally overcorrect, just go ahead and grab your um, brow pencil again. Fix it. And voila, it's as simple as that. Also, you guys, don't forget to drink lots and lots of water so that your skin stays fresh and your lips stay not crusty. Such as mine, apparently. And then take a spoolie brush and kind of like blend your brows in a little bit. Okay, guys. Next up is the eyeshadow, and we're gonna start with a transition shade. And technically, you're supposed to use a fluffy brush for this, but being that I don't have one right now, um, we're gonna use what we have. Okay, guys, so technically, this brush is not what you're supposed to use, but this is what we're left with today, so I'm using this brush right here. Today, for eyeshadow, I am gonna be using the Tarte Flawless on the Fly palette. pineapple thing. For the transition shade, I'm going to be going ahead and using Ambitious, which is the shade right here. So pack it in the crease and just blend up. Okay guys, so the next color is going to be our crease shade, which is going to be our darker shade. So for my crease shade, I'm going to go ahead and use Go For It. And I'm going to be using kind of like a smaller crease-like crease, crease -like brush for this. Okay, so definitely in the near future I'm going to be buying a blending brush because, oh my gosh, this is like the hardest thing I've ever done with eyeshadow in my entire life is use this brush. And guys, like literally, even if I did have a blending brush, just know that this takes a lot of blending, so don't get frustrated to be really patient on this. Okay, guys, because I do not have a blending brush and this is like not really working, I'm going to go ahead and use just kind of like a smaller smallest fluffy brush that I have in the set which is still pretty huge so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of use that to blend it out just a little bit and then once you're done with your crease color 
go ahead and hop on back to your transition shape. And what you're gonna do is basically just take it and blend like right up over the creases so that you don't lose the color. I'm just gonna kind of pack it on there and then blend in with the big generous blending brush that I'm using today. Okay guys, and for this shade, I'm actually going to take like this kind of round crease brush. I'm going to go ahead and dip into the shade Risk Taker. And literally, you guys, for this shade, you do not want to get this anywhere except for the crease. So go very, very, very like straight at your eye. <laughs> little windshield wiper motions. Alrighty, once you've got that shade on, go ahead and blend that in. It's really not too much on that shade. You just want it to be not so, like, stiff. But you still want it to be a little bit stiff, so not too much. Just enough to blend with the other colors a little bit. Once you've done that, go ahead and go back to your last color which was go for it so you're literally just gonna go right above that darkest shade just want to make sure it's still there this will let you have like a nice ombre effect and then blend it the eyeshadows really apply nicely actually i've never tried to my eyeshadow before but i really really like it Okay, you guys, and then for our next shade, we're going to take just another dark shade of your choice. And we are going to go ahead and put that right here in the corner of your eye. So I'm going to go ahead and use All In. For this shade, I'm going to go ahead and use kind of a smaller round angled brush. Just go right there in the corner. Kind of like shape that V. Once again, go ahead and blend it. Okay, you guys, so the next step is going to be cutting your crease. So just go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on your hand. And then, like, look down. And you're literally just going to go right here in the crease. Don't go all the way, just go to, like, right here. While the concealer is still wet, we'll go ahead and take your highlighting shade and put it right there in the center crease, or I mean in the center of your eye. Once you've gone ahead and done that, go ahead back in with your transition shade, which is for me going to be you can go right there next to the highlighting shade. Next, I'm going to go in with a more shimmery shade, which is going to be the Happening shade, which is right here. Go right up the center of that crease. Okay, after the shiny shade, you're going to go in with uh, Go For It, which is one of your darker shades, and put that right here. And then go back in with the last shade in which you had in your V right here. For me, it's going to be all in and then just go and kind of blend it right back into that corner. And then go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, you guys. And then once you're done with that, you're going to go in and you're going to take a shiny metallic color. Like for me, I'm going to use this as it. And I'm just going to go right back into the inner corner and just kind of like and then once again, I'll just kind of top that off with your highlighting shade. Next, go ahead and take that highlighting shade and highlight right here underneath your brow. The next step is going to be our highlighting. 
So I like to use a felt tip liner. You can use any felt tip liner that you like. I like to make sure mine is nice and pointy that way. Yeah, very, very, very defined tip. So the biggest tips that I have ever gotten when doing a winged liner is most people think you want to start from the inner corner and go out. That's actually completely wrong. Most of the time, if you do that, you're gonna end up with a big fat wing that you don't want. <laughs> so instead of going this way, go this way. So basically, line it up with your bottom lash line. Do not go straight out. It's gonna look bad. Do not go like up. That's also going to look bad. Just like naturally follow your lash line and just draw. If you're new to this, remember, do one line here, and then before you do anything else, go ahead and do the other eye. Make sure you do that same line right here, and make sure that they're even. Once you do that, it is a lot easier to make sure that your entire wing is even, and then you can go back and create the line, create the triangle, and then go ahead and fill it in, and it's gonna be way easier than trying to do what I just did. Once you've gone ahead and done that, right from that tip, be sure to be very, 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 very thin with it, but just go right back this way. And basically what you're going to do is connect this with like right here. So you're going to kind of make like a triangle, if that makes sense. Keep it nice and tight though. You can always make it bigger, but it's literally near impossible to make it smaller once you've done all of your eyeshadow. Once you've done that, now you can go from this side and make sure that you keep the line extremely thin. If you make this line thick, it's going to mess up your entire look. Also, just a side note, if you guys mess up, do not be discouraged, especially if this is like your beginner to wings. It took me like 10 years to get wings right, so keep that in mind. I will add my graduation picture right here. So Make sure that when you're doing this, do not make one big long line. That is how you mess up so fast. Like, make sure you're doing little tiny strokes. And I promise you, it will end up a lot straighter than if you use a big long line. And then you can go ahead and fill the A lot of people like to pull their eye to do their liner. I even used to do that. That's really bad. You're gonna end up with really bad wrinkles if you continue to do that. Alrighty guys, so the wing liner is done. And the next step is going to be your mascara. Oh guys, also another tip for your eyeliner, make sure it's dry before you open your eyes all the way or you're gonna mess up your entire look. Usually I would use an eyelash curler, however, I kind of forgot to order one, so I'm just gonna go right in with lashes. I am using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. When you're doing mascara, make sure you start from like right here and wiggle it all the way to the end because if you don't wiggle it you're gonna end up with like a bunch of clumpy mascara slightly touch the bottom lash up i know some people like their bottom lash pretty heavy um i'm not really one of those people just because my eyelashes are really long on the bottom already so kind of overpowers my top lash if you ask me now i have noticed it does depend kind of on the mascara but some mascaras you can kind of go more straight with than wiggling. This one tends to be actually really good. This is my first time using this mascara. Alrighty, once you've done your mascara, you can actually go back in with your eyeshadow and just take like a kind of round um, thin brush like this. Go in with your second to darkest shade and literally just go right here on this line and kind of up your wing. Make sure it stays very, very thin, please. 
or you're really probably not gonna like this look. And only go about halfway on the bottom with your, a little over halfway on the bottom with the darker, second darker shade. Right about there, kind of do that on both sides. All right, and then go ahead and blend that out just a little bit. Alrighty, and then once you've taken that second to darkest shade, you're going to want to go ahead and take the light shimmering shade, which for me is going to be This Is It, and go right here on this inner corner. Alrighty, and then once you've done that, make sure you blend it out just a little bit. Alrighty, you guys, the next step is going to be your lips. So if you have some Carmax or chopstick or whatever on your lips, go ahead and kind of like dab it off a little bit. Alrighty, you guys, so once you dab off some of your um, chapstick, not all of it, but just enough that it's not gonna like smear everywhere. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna overline your lips just a little bit. Do not overline your lips all the way to the outer edge or you're going to look really wrong. Just overline from like here to like right here and then follow your natural lip line on it. That way it looks natural and not so fake. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys, my boyfriend is literally ridiculous. I love him though. I am using NYX Professional Makeup Matte Lip Liner in the shade... I don't mind. I don't know now. Just like that. See how it's like bigger right here than this side? But then it follows the same line as this side, like coming over here. Now, depending on your lips, if you tend to have like a bigger, more pouty lip, um, which sometimes mine is when they're moist, but um, right now they're chapped, so I'm gonna go ahead and overline them. But if you do have a bigger bottom lip and they're just gonna look really unproportionate, so don't overline that. But if it's kind of crusty, such as mine, go ahead and overline it. And then for um, my liquid lipstick, technically, I'm using the Morphe um, liquid lipstick in the shade Fatty. Because it's a liquid lipstick, don't get it on your face. Because I tested this on my hand earlier and it literally took me like 20 minutes to scrub off my hand, so don't mess up. But yeah, okay, this liquid lipstick is definitely darker than the liner, so I'm probably just gonna go right over the liner, just a little bit. Not too much though, because if you go all the way over the liner, it's just gonna smear on your face, and then you're gonna have issues for the rest of the day. dry and then once it's dry like um you can talk and kiss people and stuff like that yo i'm gonna fuck my food up in a second hold on no. i'm almost done with this video i have to do my outro and i have to take my hair down and show them what it looks like without my baby hair right, what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna no you're not because literally i'm almost done okay guys and then once you're done you can no, obviously Okay, hold on, I give you five seconds, damn. All right, you guys, so that is the makeup look. Now you can go ahead and take your hair down and let your little tiny wispies stopping everywhere. Guys, my hair is so crispy. I bleached it too much. Um, if your home box is bleaching your hair, do not bleach it too much. Bad idea. Okay, you guys, but that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and slash explanation video. Um, I love you guys. Dream on. If you'd like to become a member of the Dream Team, go ahead, click that button down below and subscribe. You guys can also like this video or hit the bell if you guys want to be notified anytime I upload a new video. I hope to be uploading videos a lot more than I have been, but other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget, believe in yourselves and bye. <laughs>